A scam warning tonight for anyone looking to buy glasses for the solar eclipse. Now, the American Astronomical Society says that some sellers are making misleading claims about their products. WRTV investigates Kara Kinney spoke with them and joins us now with how you can protect your wallet and your eyes. To safely view the entire eclipse, you need special glasses like these. But even if they're stamped with a seal, doesn't necessarily mean they're safe. Deals on Eclipse glasses are popping up on social media, Amazon, eBay, you name it. The American Astronomical Society says some sellers are making misleading claims and providing bogus documentation of their safety. I make a fast buck off of this celestial event uh, and they are, uh, you know, they're saying things like, uh, our glasses are approved by NASA, but NASA doesn't approve glasses. They're misrepresenting them or they're uh, making them in China and printing the names of American manufacturers on them. The glasses need to comply with the International Organization for Standardization requirement, ISO 12312-2. However, some sellers are faking this. What is the concern there? Uh, you can actually suffer retinal injury. Um, you might end up with temporary blind spots. You might end up with permanent blindness. Uh, this is not good. You want to protect your eyes. The best way to protect yourself is to buy glasses through a list of vendors on the AAS website. This assures you the glasses have been tested and meet all the requirements. We don't want anybody to get hurt. So that's why we maintain this list of vendors whose products we know for sure are safe. If you already bought glasses, AAS says try them on and you should not be able to see anything except the sun itself or a bright light. Everything else should be really dim if they're working correctly. Legit glasses cost around two or three dollars, but as we get closer to the event, the price will go up so you can't even use price as a red flag. If you believe you bought bogus glasses, you can contact the seller for a refund. Kara Kenny, WRTV. Now we did check with the Better Business Bureau and the Indiana Attorney General's office. They have not yet received any complaints related to bogus glasses. We have included how to file a complaint in this story at WRTV.com and on the WRTV app.